Hello, my name is Brian Anderson, the owner of Tomate, and uh, we manufacture all kinds of radio control lighting systems and power line communication systems. I'd like to show you this evening uh, some of the new products that we have. Our new light bar that goes on top of the pylon. Uh, also our new arrow stick that uh, can mount anywhere on the truck and the controller simply connects to power and ground in the cab of the truck, sends the information to uh, both the light bar and the uh, arrow stick, commanding left turn, right turn, center out, and random stroke. I'll demonstrate some of that for you now. And there we have our left arrow. And keep in mind, th this is a separate item. This is the, uh, the arrow stick here, and of course the light bar that can go on the pylon below. All that is accomplished through two wires, power wire and a ground wire. So anywhere that you connect the common power and ground on a vehicle, you've got full control of these lighting packages. So you could, if you were pulling a, let's say a 40 foot trailer, uh, put an arrow stick on the back of that trailer, connect to the tail light lead and ground, and then plug the controller into the cigarette socket in the cab of the truck, and you'll have full control of that light bar on the back of the truck. You didn't have to run any extra wires, and uh, it's a fabulous uh, piece of new equipment. Uh, we also build uh, little mini strobes. Uh, the, uh, the light show you, let me come up to the camera here, and you can see that this strobe also works as a tail light or a marker light, and we can build these in different colors. Clear lens, red lens, or amber lens. Of course, the clear lens allows us to make uh, different colors, as in blue, white, amber, red, any of those, any combination. The, uh, the light itself connects to power and ground. Now, some of these I have in red as like a, mar a red marker light, others uh, an amber marker light. And we can train them to come on with any particular function. And uh, just by simply using a magnet, and we can go over the, uh, the center section of the light with the magnet, and now it becomes a strobe. We can change the patterns by going up to it with the magnet again. There are about 10 different patterns that are saved in, uh, on the chip, or programmed into, into the chip. This one happens to be in amber and white. Now it's flashing or strobing amber and then white and then amber and then white. And what I have, I have the switch panel on auxiliary right now. Now if I go to uh, another function, let's just say uh, center out arrow. And we'll go ahead and train some of these to come on with that function. And then we'll put out another function, let's say uh, a left arrow, and we'll uh, go ahead and train we'll find a pattern that's a little bit more suitable.
and then we'll do a uh, right arrow, and we'll train this other one to come on with it. So now we've got strobes that come on with almost every function. So we'll go ahead and uh, run through some of these. And you can see the ones that were strobing will now go to a, a marker light mode. And the ones that are queued up for the next function will come on and do their job. That's about as simple as it gets. This system, as I say, is expandable. You can start by buying a truck, uh, uh, what do you want to say, a light bar for the headache rack of the truck uh, using this technology. And then as you can afford it or as you uh, think of things that you want to do to increase the visibility of your vehicle, you can add these marker light strobes around the sides of the vehicle and uh, the one controller that uh, controls your light bar will now control these strobes. And then additionally, each light bar comes, uh, as you can see, we've got tail lights built into the light bar. It has a radio control module that uh, will send out a signal for brake lights and turn signals. All of our light bars come standard with the strobing brake. If you step on the brake pedal, the, uh, the brake lights will strobe for about nine tenths of a second, uh, giving uh, the following vehicle a heads up that uh, you're, you're preparing to do something, like stop. And so we should be able to prevent rear end collisions, uh, you know, uh, just another factor for safety uh, between you and the other driver. We have, uh, as I say, we've got work lights built into the bar. Additional work lights can be operated by the same switch if you wanted to buy a controller. Uh, that would be like a, a little receiver that picks up the signal on the power line. You can add these modules to various places on your truck to control other lights. Here again, without running any additional wires. That's the key point. And so, you know, having said that, keep in mind this arrow stick is a separate item from the light bar that goes on the pylon. Uh, the pylon bar uh, works the same as the arrow in terms of uh, traffic control device, but if you need or have a use for uh, uh, another tra traffic control device either on the same vehicle because of sheer size or you have service trucks that you'd like to uh, you know, equip with this type of, e uh, this type of equipment, then by all means, call your nearest tow mate dealer and uh, they will, should be able to help you and guide you. Uh, and if uh, you can't get the information there, by all means, you can call the factory uh, tow mate directly and we will uh, work with your local dealer to help get a suitable package for you. Thank you very much and uh, we'll see you next time.